I recorded an audio test, but I don't want to keep it. So I'll go to Edit and Undo. Notice next to Undo, it says Control Z. That's the keyboard shortcut. Now I'll turn off the Record Enable on track 1 and open the synth rack again. This time I'm going to insert the Session Drummer. It's basically an automatic drummer that comes with Sonar 6. This time I'll want to see the Properties page. So I'll hit OK and Session Drummer will open. Now I'll select a pattern and Session Drummer will load in the kit for that pattern. If you have your own drum samples, you can use them in Session Drummer also. Now with that loaded, I can hit the Play button and it'll play that one bar pattern. Or I can press the Loop button to loop it. Now I won't stop it from here. I'll close the Session Drummer and stop it from my transport bar. That way it'll be ready to play when I hit play or record. So now I'd like to arm a MIDI track. I'll go to the bass track and press the R and it turns red and it's ready to record. It's set on a bass sound, so I'll hit record and play a bass part from my MIDI keyboard. Then by double clicking on the part that was created, It'll open in the piano roll view where we can see all the notes I just played. I know my timing wasn't perfect. Let's have a listen. And if I zoom in here, I can see my notes didn't fall on the lines which are indicated here by the grid. I'll take this opportunity to show you the quantize function. And here I see Control Q, the keyboard shortcut. By quantizing to the 16th, it will slide my notes to the nearest obvious place where I meant to hit them. And that makes them perfectly in time. Now I'll go back to my track view and highlight this two bar section. Move to my transport bar and loop this highlighted region. Now if I just wanted to jam I could get out my guitar and play along with that. Or perhaps I'd like to record another MIDI instrument. I'll go to the organ track, press the R so that it's ready to record. Now my keyboard will be playing an organ sound. Main thing, have fun.